Here we go, and this is what Dreddy says. Someone asked me once, why is it called Dreddy Says? It's like, because I'm saying stuff. Anyway, here we go. The Mistral Little 12 volt, up to 20 PSI, sup pump. Is it any good for 40 quid? Let's find out. Okay, after that rather hammy intro, we're gonna crack on anyway. So I was gonna get one of the boards, but I'm away this weekend at Bugs Boarding Lamb Boarding Festival. That's what some of the construction sounds you can hear behind me. There'll be footage from that this weekend. But this is the question. Let me get a bit brighter in here. There we go. That's probably made no difference. So relatively compact that's what you get in the box it comes already pre-packed hose attachment now i'm going to start off skeptical basically okay i'm going to uh slot this little section in you know it's always clickbait when people say stick around to the end there was something that happened yeah actually do stick around to the end because something did actually happen and i'm not going to tell you if it was good or bad and You'll get to see the times. Oh yeah, give us a like, give us a subscribe, all that business. Back to the video. Uh, there's a manual in every conceivable language. I need that. Washers, these go in the magical washer drawer that squeaks. And okay, integral bungees, keep it together. And the time to beat is seven minutes. Hose feels all right. Seem better. Uh, yep, there's a washer on that adapt on the SUP adapter. I forget what it's called now, I should know this. Do my research. Oh, another camera crash. I was trying to say, do your research. So, uh, standard marine adapter that feels okay and that's what we're seeing so it says on the back 88 decibels didn't get the db for the other ones i was trying but we're gonna test it out i'm gonna move you outside we're gonna get out a hex 10 foot 6 15 psi board and we're gonna time it all right would have been nice if the camera crashed about now, so it would have been a more seamless cut. But anyway, let's go and pump it up and show you outside while we're here. The mountain boards, all the skateboards, and the bugs boarding. Get you out of the sun. Okay, it comes preset at 15 psi. Got inflate and deflate. I'm guessing the arrows mean that this one is <laughs> inflate. It's a little out arrow. Hello, Mark. Come and say hello in the video. <laughs> You're not just talking to yourself, that's good. I always am. So this is the little special. We're gonna test it against a much better one. Oh, where is it? <laughs> Ugh. Edit this out. <laughs> I do love a good outtake. Right, Hicks, ten foot six. That rhymes. Time to beat is uh, six minutes forty seven on the Hicks pump. But already, I'm going to go with this is going to be obnoxiously louder. You are paying 40 quid. Right, if this goes in far too easily, then you're getting what you pay for. That's my... Yeah. If anyone's wondering, that goes on really easily. 
Right, it's on. Usual deal, make sure your valve is in the open position so it goes up and down. Oh, here we go. All right, it's on. All right, here we go, 15 PSI. Start the timer. I'll be back in a bit. So obviously what we're looking at now is the first stage. Already that's louder than the Hicks pump. Test it from about the same distance to what we tested the Hicks pump. We're at one minute. Any minute now. Right, stage two at, at one PSI. Yeah, that is a little bit louder. But we can see how long it takes. I'll pause the video. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, we are back. Two things happened. One, it took, I was late getting to the stopwatch, around 10 minutes. So it's three minutes slower uh, than the other pump that I tried. Check out the review, link up above. The unit itself is extremely hot. Um, I had both of them in the sun when I was testing it. But yeah, it's extremely hot. And the biggest problem, which unfortunately I wasn't filming, was when I tried to remove the attachment, this end came off and then a bunch of air leaked out. So let's see if we can do that again. So at high pressure look, it is leaking. And then it is incredibly difficult to get it off. Let me show you. So to get this out, you've got to push down and pull to the left, but that's gonna, that's gonna unhook that bit in there. Well, I think that's just about everything that we need to say about this pump. So yes, it is cheap, but how do you get away with that? If we put it on this way, it's the wrong way round. So when you're trying to take it off, it's going to be the wrong way. Let me check the washer. But, whoop. Okay, so we're locked on. We've lost half the PSI now. Slightly annoying. <clears throat> 
So we're gonna have to pump again. Already that's trying to come off. Look, let me show you. See? And that's only half pressure. Sorry if this isn't very clear. See, that's the wrong way. It's just gonna to want to try and pull off every time. So to get it off, you're gonna to have to push the bottom bit. I mean, am I being stupid? Let's have a look. I often am. No, no, that's, that's, that's poor. That's really poor. You're gonna to have to make sure that this hose is totally level because when it got under pressure, see that moving? And then that's just gonna beep. Then that's just gonna leak air out. Okay. Well, there we have it, folks. Uh, I'm afraid it's not very good at all. But yeah, so that's my review of this. If you've got your own hose attachments, then maybe use a different hose on it, one that's the right way around and doesn't want to come off every time. But that's it from me. It, it's a huge thumbs down to get what you pay for, poor design. Please comment down below if you think I could try something different. But I've tried several of these now and yeah, I'm just not a fan. All right, guys, sorry about that. You take care. I'll catch you for the next one.